Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to graph x is greater than 3. And you know, one thing we talked about you know, doing this, we could find the x and y intercepts. We could put it in slope intercept form. We could uh, you create a table, all right? And all these different methods. But you know, for this last one, I'm just going to kind of um, graph this a little bit more simply, but then talk a little bit more about the boundary line and the solution points. So the first thing that we're going to do is we know that x, equal, x is greater than 3. Or even if I just wanted to graph the line x equals 3, that's going to produce a vertical line at positive 3. 1, 2, 3 on the x-axis. right? So we say x equals 3. And x is always going to equal 3 if I create a table of values. So we're going to have a vertical line going this way. However, our, our problem does not say x is equal to 3 for all that. It says x is greater than 3. So what that means is when x equals 3, that is not a part of our solution. So this is actually not a point on our graph. But it is still part of the graph. And what it is, it creates our boundary line. But since it's not a part of the solution, we're going to do what we call a dashed line. And that happens whenever you have a symbol greater than or less than, you're going to be using a dashed line. Now the same thing, we need to choose a test point. Now you could always test 0, 0 and say, you know, is that going to be true or false? But let's just kind of look at two points. Let's look at the point when x equals 4. And let's look at the point when x equals 0. All right. So we could just use test points you know, for 0, 0. But we notice that this kind of gets a little confusing because we don't have a y to plug in 0 for. So let's just pick two points, x equals 0, or x equals 4, and y equals 0 um, for these two coordinate points because we know we're dealing with a vertical line. Well, if I have 0 is greater than 3, or I could say 4 is greater than 3, we know that this is false and that's true. So since this is true and that's false, what that's going to mean is all the points to the left of this line are going to be false, and all the points to the right are going to be true. It doesn't matter where I pick a point, all of these points are going to be true. So to represent all those points, I'm just going to have some shaded lines over towards our true solution. And just make sure since our boundary line, since it's greater than and not greater than or equal to, it's going to be a dashed line. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a linear inequality. Thanks.